Tinubu campaign and floating of Osimbajo campaign, a race between academician and politician in APC. Greetings to you all. Hope we are doing great in our respective locations. To all my amazing subscribers, know this. Someone looks good, tell them. You think they are cool, tell them. You love their work, tell them. Make someone's day. Love your people out loud. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. It is no longer news that a pro tenable campaign was floated in Lagos on Friday by supporters and another Osimbajo campaign group on Saturday. This race for the presidential ticket in the All Progressive Congress APC is now between an academician and a seasoned politician. Some people might opine that Nigerian's president is not an academic job. They can say people can be good and sound academia and be a terrible president of Nigerian. But they should know that to be president, you will need to know useful brains and capable hands across the length and breadth of the country in running your government. And in finding such fellow, you must patronize politicians, technocrats, and while doing so, you must ensure you are bringing in the capable ones among them, not just anybody, or popular ones among them. Tinebo knows how to do that. He used both politicians and technocrats when he was governor of Lagos State, and none did not outrightly at perform the order in executing the role he gave them because he went for the most suited for the job. Tinebo knows people, not just Southerners, perhaps. Being a former governor of Lagos gave him the privilege to meet great minds in our nation. He knows people, and that is what is necessary for our unity as a country. Tinebu knows folks across the Niger, and that makes his administration stain the stigma of nepotism. So, in uniting the nation through meritorious political patronage you can't fault asiwajo but osimbajo is far behind on that osimbajo would need a lot of help to be able to run this country and not being accused of nepotism or religiously bias eventually he will want to follow merit which is eventually might look like assembling academics. Osibajo's definition of merit will look like people with degrees upon degree. And it is not by degree, it's more than that. Osibajo significantly knows people who are mostly academics like him. And a federal executive council is not a university senate. The mandates aren't the same. But we should know that UK and American democracy that will copy, make use of their finest academically and the results are superb for them. We can never rule out candidates with some educational background in picking presidential candidates going into the 2023 election. Education defines the scope of our understanding of important issues like war, economics, conflict, law, etc. Nigeria as a country is backward because those at the aim of affairs don't have the required education needed. If education can give you a good job across the globe, education will be a serious area and ticket for Nigerians 
Crestacea rays. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button down below. I see you even as you do so. May the blessings of God Almighty never cease to overflow in your lives as you all support my channel. Amen. We should be more careful this time around. We need a square peg in a square hole. It's not like Osimba Jo does not fit the bill. But the question is whether he will want to enter the wrestling arena with his godfather. But let's look at things from this area. Osimba Jo can be a good president, devoid of sentiment and corruption. More to be, there is a vice, he has been a vice president for eight years by the end of Buhari regime and with a sound knowledge of his profession as compared to Tinebu, who does not have a good standing in the area of corruption. Osimba Jo will not go head to head with Asiwajo. It is a sanctity. Those who have seen Southwest should allow southeast to go and not serious at all when ojuku contested in 2007 under apga why didn't they vote for him they opted to vote for a fulani man in person of yaradoa looking at the whole scenario both tinibu and osimba joe are capable of being the president of this country in the animal kingdom, all animals are equal, but some are more equal than the others. When examining the two, Osiba Jaw is preferable, is younger and healthy than Tinibu. He is more knowledgeable and can stand anywhere in the world to face his counterparts, anywhere in the world. He can speak on any subject or topic without looking at any book. And he has acquired so much experience when he was commissioner for justice in Lagos State. And he has also acquired experience as vice president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. He is a Christian from Southern parts and would be more acceptable to Nigerians. Tinibu, on the other hand, is also quitable but as a muslim if the people of western region would accept him would the people of eastern region and the south south accept him as a muslim let us say he chooses a christian as vice president from the north the north did not recognize any muslim from the south as true believer or prophet muhammad if tinebu would choose a muslim from the north the Christian body will cry out that Tinebu wants to Islamize Nigeria. Tinebu is really in a deep blue sea, really in a crossroad. Tinebu also has some dead wood that he would like to patronize if he should become president. If he would become the president of the country, no doubt Tinebu knows how to show good, good people to work with him. All these are the problems of Tinebu that make Osibajo to be more acceptable to Nigerians. Mr. Tinebu, please give way for Osibajo and support him. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button for more authentic news. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.